It's 5 a.m. I'm not wearing shorts, okay? <laughs> okay, so forgive everything that's behind me. We'll get to that at a later video. However, I just wanted to start this video off with a quick little message to everybody explaining why there was no upload on Friday. I'm sorry. I know it was a big mistake on my part. Let me give you the reason why. So on Thursday, I went out for a walk in the park. In this park, a lot of, you know, dog walkers go. They bring their dogs with them. Wow. Big brain moment, Joanna. Whoa. So I'm just walking. My AirPods are in my ears. And I feel something strange. Um in my butt. <laughs> I turn around and this massive golden retriever has stuck his snout in between my butt cheeks and is smelling my butthole. Okay, what a way to start the day, you know? I mean, wow. Listen, if it was anybody else sniffing my butthole impromptu like that, you know, the encounter would have ended in a much different way. But, you know, it's a dog. How am I supposed to get mad at that? Like, are you kidding me? So obviously, you know, I pet the dog and that was my mistake because as you all know, I'm allergic to dogs and I had an allergic reaction for the second time that week. But yeah, I spent all of Thursday in bed. That's also why I look a little bit uh, crusty today because I, you know, had a scratch fest <laughs> yesterday. That's the reason why. I hope you enjoy this. We're starting the morning off strong. We're going for a swim. Anyways, okay, I, we should go now. I love you. Bye-bye. I'm actually delirious. <laughs> Latinus. <laughs> okay, so while you guys are enjoying this amazing footage of me splashing around in what is essentially a very big chlorinated bathtub, I am going to tell you guys a story of how I came to acquire my beautiful, gorgeous 10 out of 10 pink fins. I got these fins when I was, I think, 14 years old. I was still a competitive swimmer, and my coach had made it, you know, a requirement that you had to have these fins. Now, if you're a competitive swimmer, or ever been one, you'd probably know that there are several different kinds of fins. There's the heelless ones, but then there's also the full coverage, you know, conservative fins. You've got the zoomers too. And then you've got those like really long mermaid tail ones. But anyways, to make a long story short, my coach had made it a requirement that you had to own the heelless fins, the Chad heelless fins, not those virgin full coverage ones, no. Now when I was 14 years old, let me tell you, I was ridiculously tiny. The struggle to find fins that fit me was real. I could barely fit into a size five women's. And all of the fins that like Arena and Nike and like, what's that other brand? TRC or whatever the hell it's called. They only carried a size five women's, I believe was the smallest one. That was never gonna fit my tiny ass feet. So anyways, I had to go online and scour the internet, literally every single dark corner of the internet possible to find fins that fit me. And I found them. And not only were they a size four women's, so you know, there's a 60% chance that these might fit my feet, but they were also the most beautiful pearlescent pink I had ever seen. They were expensive, I'll admit. <laughs> and also they didn't ship to Canada. They were from Australia or something like that. So we had to ship it to the US where my cousin was living and then she shipped it to us. It was a whole operation, but it was 100% worth it in the end. Anyways, these fins come in the mail and uh, I open the package and I put them on my feet and guess what? They're ginormous. They do not fit my feet at all. Size four my ass. They were probably like a size six or maybe even a seven. So guess what I did? <clears throat> uh, mm-hmm. Every time I had to swim with them in practice, I would put on socks. Not only one pair of socks, I would put on two pairs of socks. Don't ask me, you know, how uncomfortable it was to swim in socks with fins on top. And oh, I do I even have to mention the fact that the socks would fall off as practice would go on. So that was a whole ordeal in itself. But that's the story of my fins. Thankfully, you know, I've grown a lot since then. And uh, these fins fit me a little bit better now. They're still kind of big which just goes to show you how ridiculously, absurdly tiny my feet are. Anyways, uh, that's enough of my rambling. So uh, back to the video, I guess. Oh, <laughs> yike. I have to admit that was a pretty good swim. You know, the third one back, I mean, I flopped, I splashed and I, you know, frolicked a bit. <laughs> so it is just past 8 a.m. right now. I just got out of the shower and I'm sitting here 
listening to some tunes. I'm sitting in front of this thing, you know, this like fake heater. I don't, well, actually, somebody in my comment section a couple months ago said that this thing is used by drug dealers to grow weed, so, you know, take that information how you will, I guess. I'm kind of, um, looking like a greased potato, but, oh, those goggle marks are, like, so hot right now, wow. Up next on the sketch, <laughs> <laughs> my mom is gonna wash my hair, okay. I know this is gonna sound so privileged, but uh, the skin on the back of my neck is still pretty, you know, cracked and sensitive from topical steroid withdrawal. So getting shampoo and conditioner on that skin is not, you know, on my list of things to do. Maybe we should talk about the weather. Should we talk about the weather? Okay, so today it's like really overcast, rainy. It's honestly, forgive my language, pretty shitty weather, but not gonna lie, it's my favorite one so far. I'm gonna be very productive today. I love it when it's rainy. It's like literally one of my favorite things because listen, the sun is so pretentious. I wake up and it's just intimidating immediately. Like all that light, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm done. I'm like starting to not make sense. I'm just gonna sit here in front of this light for a bit longer and uh we'll pick up downstairs when i'm getting my hair did so <clears throat> oh my god what is that who is this yes i won Just took a nap. <laughs> oh my god, did I burn it? No. Oh god damn it. <laughs> um so that's a thing, I guess. Guys, what am I supposed to do? How did I screw this up this badly? <laughs> We're going to the gym. We're going to the gym. We're going to the gym. Yes. We're going yeah. to the gym. Yes. We're going to the gym. <laughs> yes. Did you hear that we're going to the gym? <laughs> You're going to the gym. Yeah. 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 You know what? What? We are going to the gym. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a PSA for everybody that clowned on my supposedly raw bacon in my last video. Look. I have burned an entire batch of bacon just for you. Are you happy now? Look at the crunch. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, it's burnt. It was disgusting. So the next person that dares come into my comment section and tell me that I'm eating raw bacon, check yourself. Uh-huh, did you hear that crunch? Yeah, I bet you did. Good morning, my dudes. Today, wow, I am serving wet dog visuals. Anyways, today is Saturday something, I don't even know. And my original goal was to come here and walk slash run four laps. You know, like alternate guys. Guys, I'm feeling really good today. I've been here for an hour. This is my 14th lap. I had a terrible night of sleep. Sorry, wow, what an icebreaker. <laughs> I had a terrible night of sleep. I literally slept for three hours because, well, okay, the fridge started making a bunch of noises and I literally thought Slenderman was in my house. Yes, I'm 20 years old, what of it? Time to run again. <sighs> Sorry, I can't talk now. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on going because I know I've got a bunch of more laps in me. I'll see you in a bit. So I locked myself out of my house and now, um, I have to sit here in the rain until my mom comes home and opens the door. I really don't know what else to say. This day just went from great to terrible. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Okay, I need to shut up now and just like sit here. Hi, mom. So, um, I locked myself out of the house. 